Hey everyone, this is Ricky Bell. I'm with Victolic VDC. I'm a programmer for Victolic Tools for Revit. I want to take a moment and talk about some of the upgrades we've made to the Tap Creator tool available in the Victolic Tools ribbon. Now some of these upgrades uh, came from ideas from customers. Uh, a lot of them came from the internal VDC team here at Victolic. Uh, but they're basically updates that are going to make the tool a little bit easier to use and a little bit faster to process through these taps. So let's get into it. I'll do another vertical pipe example uh, like I did in the previous video. So you make your selection right there, open the tap creator from the modify toolbar or from the Victolic tools, productivity tools toolbar, you can hit tap creator from here as well. Okay, so I'll move this to the right so we can see what's going on in the background. Uh, Right off the bat, you can see that the template section is a little bit different. It's more the classic templates management now. You can see that it comes from out of the box with a few templates already installed. Uh, you can create your own templates from here. Uh, you can load new templates. Uh, but it's more like the way we handle templates within our spooling tools and other tools. Well, we're going to build one from scratch right here. We'll do another vertical pipe example. So I'll select like a uh, shaped nipple and we'll say one inch right from there down like I said before it typically points at you uh, and you can just like before add a tap note whatever your note would be say it's a, a pressure gauge or something and just by clicking add you see it pop in right there just like we said uh, two feet from the bottom of the pipe and uh, one foot stick of pipe on there some of the things that you can do uh, that you couldn't do before is you can copy this row now so this button over here will let you copy the row and let's say I want three of them that are identical to each other. I'll just hit this refresh button right here. Let's adjust them all to one foot and do the same thing. Okay, so we can get three of them right there. Now let's say these taps are of different size. You got a one inch, a two inch, and a three inch. I'll refresh on that. And you'll see them come in one, two, and three, just like that. Uh, one of the new features here is that you can reorder these rows using these up and down arrows. So whatever you have selected here, uh, let's put the two inch at the bottom and the one inch in the middle and see what that looks like when you hit refresh. Uh, but just like before, it's uh, really easy to make a selection, make your taps the way you want them to, and then uh, save them as uh, a new template. Let's call this one new template. And now this new template can be recalled uh, on any other piece of pipe throughout your project. And that's really the point of the tap creator database driven tool that lets you very quickly place different styles of taps all over your model where they belong. One of the upgrades we've made to this tool is that it's now compatible with uh, MEP fabrication parts. So let's go take a look at that. I have a very similar system. It's a little smaller in diameter, but the same idea. I've got some vertical pieces of pipe here. I'll go ahead and select one and I'll run the tap creator. Okay, the tap creator is going to default to whatever you had in your selection before, so it's real easy just to hit these X icons here and hit refresh, and you'll see we're back to square one. Uh, we have a template already in here for uh, fabrication parts. I'll reload that template right there. Uh, I see they're facing the wrong way, so I can just hit reverse pipe direction and they'll face forward. But it's the same workflow that you would use with families, uh, but it's pulling from the fabrication library and only showing you taps that are compatible with your system. So just like before, if you wanted to run this on one piece of pipe or a few at a time, let me adjust this so it looks a little nicer. We'll do uh, two feet there and then one foot later we'll do another tap. So you should see them right next to each other. So now that we have this uh, template here, just like I show you in the other video, that you can run this across multiple pieces of pipe at once and say I want to do all five of these at the same time. I'll run the tap creator. It will remember whatever your last selection was, whatever your last configuration was, and it will draw all of those taps all at once for you. Now again, we want to hit reverse pipe direction so it's facing forward. And you'll see that they're all identical. So using some of these new features, uh, you can use your imagination as to where you could take this. I'm going to do a fire protection example because a tap creator has always been able to place sprinklers. But uh, using a tap creator, you could place the branch lines as well. So here's what I came up with. So I have this simple system right here, which at the moment is just a big long stick of pipe, a main for fire protection. 
Now we want to draw some branches off of there. So just by clicking on the main, opening the tap creator, I've already set up a template called uh, Fire Branches, which is going to uh, put in a branch every 10 feet. See right there? Right now the branch is 26 feet long. We're going to go back and using our pipe tools and we'll split that up into manageable lengths. But really in one motion right there, I created every branch that you would put on that fire protection main. Now if I wanted to put sprinklers on there, I can highlight one of these branches, open the tap creator, I'll clear out what's already in there, or just uh, recall what I made called fire sprinklers, which is going to place a sprinkler every eight feet along this line right here. You can see it kind of started at the wrong end. You can always click on reverse pipe direction and the eight feet will then start from the main side. Uh, so now that we've got this configured, what I could do, I'm going to hit cancel here and I'm going to select all of these branches that were just created and I'm going to place some sprinklers on there. So on all six of these, open the tap creator. It's going to give you a preview. So you can see that they've just been created. Um, I can see that they're all going from the wrong end of the pipe, so reverse pipe direction. And click OK. So using the new features of the tap creator, the improved templates, the uh, reordering of the rows, the copying of rows, and the advanced sprinkler placement, as well as some of the new stuff we've made for fabrication parts, you're able to really quickly put together complicated systems, save them as templates, and be able to recall them in other projects. Okay, thanks for watching.